and welcome to part 4 of the station project in the Model Railway Files series. Now, of course, we're going to be getting on with the station a bit more in this video. There was a few minor details that I've got here. On this video we're going to be building part C, which will be here. But before all that, I want to announce our new logo, which you will have seen already, as it will have started the video. Yes, yeah, so we've introduced this logo a few days ago, and, and it, it was made by Ajiv San, a, a, member, a member of our admin on our Facebook page and chat group on Facebook. So I'd just like to say thanks to them for making that. But anyway, let's get on with this video. Right, so since last time I've actually made quite a bit of project, pro progress rather, for a start, the paint I ordered from Tamiya has arrived, XFX14, which is sky blue, you won't be able to read it because it's all blurry, and yes I've used that to paint one of the benches, they'll all be painted in this colour eventually, but the reason I've painted them at all is because of the area I want this station to be set in, and the time. Because I'm setting it around the time of the um, of British Rail in the late 50s to early 60s, and the region is northeastern, whose colours for the stations are blue on this bench, tangerine, basically an orange, and ivory. Now the now the blue was used for the bench benches and lamp posts, as well as the lower half of the building as and I've used it on the benches here and I'll be using it on a few of the others and the tangerine was used on all the like signage like what the name of the station was and the um, ivory was used at the top of buildings but only with the wooden ones so I won't be painting this building at all because it looks fine as it is frankly nice with stone effect but anyway, now that's done, I might show you a bit of me painting one of those later in the video. But firstly, let's get on with building C. Right, now what I've done since you last saw me, is I've cut out the parts for building C, including the floor, which is over here. And I've found the doors that we made at the beginning of this, of this station project. And if you haven't checked out that video, it's quite useful for if you're... Let's get the edges of these right. Speaking of the edges of these, I've um, coloured in the edges of these so they look more realistic so it's not that really obvious card showing. I've used watercolours again for that. And I've done the edges of the floor so they look like wooden. As you won't be able to see inside, there's no point doing a little bit. So I've just left that. While that's drying though, we can put the inner end wall on the part of building B. Okay, as you can see that that pops out and it'll slot in there. Firstly, we need to glue this onto the back, which won't take much, just need a bit of a who or purpose G suit. Solvent free is the best stuff. Really? And just like that. There we go. Don't even need that one to dry really. This will just go on there and slot in like that. And you can see the inner bit of it there. I may actually paint that on a later date so it doesn't actually show that pink bit. Because you will be able to see inside here through those windows and the other windows will be in the front. But in the meantime, we need to stick it down. Any small bits of glue them. There we go. Now that can dry. Right, that's now dry. And while you've been gone, I've also put the negable wall together. No, you don't need to see that if you've seen all my other videos. Because it's really simple. It's just putting three pieces of card together, as you can see there. But let's get on with the main construction 
of building C, which is pretty much the same as building B really, it's just a bit smaller, because it goes in the same way, like that. Just cut a bit off the edge of this, that's how you know. There we go. Right, so, for this I recommend putting the glue on this first, on the floor. I need a fair bit on this. As it is quite important to hold the building together. You just close it round. Now, what also might be useful for this is this glue, as it comes with a really thin attachment, which I need to go and find, and so you can get it right in the small corners. So I'll just go and get that and be back with you in a minute. Right, so I've got the glue and the attachment, which is a very, very thin attachment, which is very helpful. And to use it, you get it right in the corners. This glue is also maybe a bit stronger than the other stuff. And just like that really. You probably want to go all the way around. But after that you can then leave it to dry. I've added a bit more glue all around these edges after I've fitted the doors as well. Make sure you get them right flush up to the edges so they look realistic. I've also glued them shut as you don't need to see inside as no windows or anything so not really necessary to add any detail. But yes, sir, while that's drying, get on with the next step, which is building the beam that goes across the end of this building along here, like with building B, like this, but a bit smaller for building C. So I just need to find that piece which is here, and I can cut it out. There we go, that's all ready now, just snip off any rough edges, like any of the others if you've seen my other videos, just fold them over, hold these tabs, There we go. Now, in my last video, I made all the filler things for this, so I'll have to pause the video while I find them. Right, so I've now found that piece, and now I can stick that, once I've added some glue, in there. I don't need this too much, I need it on three of the sides. That one, that one. And that one. And then slot it in there. There we go. Perfect. Now if you want, you can clamp it, but otherwise you can just hold it. But by holding, by using the clamp rather, it means you can, it means your hands are free to do anything else. There we go. Now that can dry. So while that's drying, now the main bit of the building will have dried. We can put this right here, which will not be very hard at all. Few bits of glue again. Not too much. There we go. It's like that. Simple as that. Of course, you might want a few tiny bits on these little flaps here, and for that, I'll use the rock, the rockets car glue, the thin one. Just to put a 
a bit there. There we go on that one. There we go. Now we can actually start on the rest of building C, which will go on the end here, which is the toilet building. It's just a much smaller building that will go on the end. Now this building does have windows, but however I I'm not going to light this building because it's really small and well, it's likely not to get seen. And also, I don't want all the um, built parts of the building lit because that will look a bit unrealistic. So I'll pop the extra bits out. That's not it. There we go, there's the basis of the toilet building, which will go there. And this is actually the end of the whole building. So this is actually the last section. We've finally reached the last section. Just need to get the rest of the pieces out, like the floor and the door. This floor. There's the door, which will, which will be put together like that. But firstly, then I need to paint the edges, and I'm going to do that off camera because I'm sure you've seen me do it thousands of times before, and it's basically the same thing over and over again. Right, I've now done these bits so that now there's no obvious, really obvious edges anymore. Now they're not nice and realistic and are ready to be stuck together. So firstly, I need to put the door in its frame. So I need that there. Like that. Might just fit this in here though first. Like that. Make sure it lines up properly. There we go. Like that. Good. And the door. Which you got some glue on it. And simply go on top of that. And there we go. Now that can dry. Now we're ready to do the windows which I made in part one of the station project and I've painted the back of them but as of now, they're now that's now not necessary but anyway these fits inside here so I just need to get a little bit of glue on them there we go and stick them on like that and make sure that they line up like so there we go. Perfect. Now for the other one. There we go. Perfectly lined up. Nice, two nice windows there. And this floor is nearly dry, because then I can put the lines on it and paint it again to make it look like a proper floor. But this will now be drying, so we can be able to put it in building C, which is here, the main part of it. So we need some glue again. Just put it to the bottom. 
So. And simply slot that in here, which will also give you a bit of structural integrity. There we go. This building is really coming along now. So, this floor is probably about dry now. So, I'll put the lines on and then paint it. I'll do it off camera though because you've seen me do it plenty of times before. Right, now that the floor is ready here, we can now stick the main part of the toilet building to it. To form it, really. So, we can do that by simply adding a bit of glue around the edges. Again, you don't need too much. There we go. And then simply just mark it on like that. It's quite a small bit of the building, this. Oddly, though, there only seems to be a gents' toilet in this building. Can't seem to, doesn't seem to be a ladies'. I thought it was very odd. So just put a bit of glue there. There we go. That can now dry. And so when that's dry, the door will be able to just slot in there. And then it'll all fit on there. Although before that, I do need to prepare a little piece of card for the roof, which is apparently on this grey sheet somewhere. Yeah. This one here, I believe. Yes. So I shall just cut that out now. Right, the floor has now dried and is now secured to the walls of the toilet building. So now, this gives us the opportunity to put the door in. Well, I took it out after last time, so I did it the wrong way, if you're wondering. So that slots in between the windows, there. There we go, flush up to the edges. That now looks like a real door, and the building is coming on in shape you now, but I'll have to pause it while it's drying. Right, so now this is dry, we can actually put it on the rest, on the edge of the rest of the building C. I've already applied some glue to it, so all we need to do is slot it on the edge of the building like that. Perfect. No, we just need to wait for that to dry, which should not take too long. If you need to, just wipe the excess glue off, as it will have probably seeped through the edges. There we go. And there we go on the other side as well. There we go. Now that can dry. Now finally, while, while that's drying, we can also put on this little bit of roof card that needs to go on top before we put the building, building together. And this is actually the first bit of roof section that we're putting on. So we're really making some progress now. So put the glue on the edges of this first, which will make it a lot easier. There we go. Just to make sure none of it seeps through. And then hook it on there. Make sure it's flush to the edge of the building, see. As well. And then put a bit of glue where you need it.
and that's it really for now. In the next video, we'll be putting the whole building together because at the moment we've got it in three pieces, which are building C, building B, and building A. So as you can see, it's got a lot bigger now. So this is the whole basis of the station, in fact. I'll move the camera around. That's the that's how big the station is now. So yes, it's quite big. So in the next video, we'll put putting these together. And I also might have the lighting figured out by then. We might fit those. The bulbs. I'll be putting a la two lights in here, one for the actual main building bit and one for the ticket stand. And I'll be putting a light in here for a little light refreshments area. I also have a few lights on the outside which I'll do at a different time. But yes, I'm afraid this brings us to the end of the video. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to show you how I did that. It's basically just painting a Hornby Scaledale bench like that. Blue. Which, and this will go inside the waiting room along with a few others. Four others, I, th I think. That's the amount. And then I'll also have some outside that will be painted in the same colour. So yes, thanks for watching this video. Please check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. And so we'll see you next time on the Model Railway Files. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.